company started a year ago, Nico and I uh, began working on an energy crop project together. That's how we met. And we discussed about this opportunity to maximize the use of idle lands um, for farming, as well as improve the efficiency of existing farms. Filipino traditional farming is very dated, very old school, and there's a lot that can be improved. Also, there's so much idle land, um, and it's a bit tragic because our company is a net importer for food, yet we have so much land uh, that can be used for agriculture. So we decided to put up precision agriculture to help address these concerns. In precision agriculture, we use uh, data a lot. A lot of the current or traditional farming methods don't make use of data. It's sort of a strike anywhere, hope I get lucky approach. I plant what I think can be planted in this type of land without really knowing the contents of the soil, understanding the nuances of climate, topography, and other factors that play into the success of a farm. So in precision agriculture, we use data and we have specialists who know how to process and analyze and acquire this data to make the right farming decisions. First, there are farmers that don't know what to do with their lands. There are as well farm owners that have the money but don't have the technical or the, the ability to, to, to maximize their land. So, there's first farm owners and there are the farmers. We provide what they need in between. We, we link them, we, we provide, uh, the, the farm owner gets to develop their farmland while the farmers get to do their work without uh, worrying about their capital. Precision Agriculture can do advisory services for both existing farms and idle land. For existing farms, uh, we can give advice on what needs to be done to improve the efficiency of the farm, increase yields, lower costs, and just uh, have an overall improved output. Uh, for idle lands, we tell our clients what the features of the land are, and based on those certain features, uh, sort of like climate, topography, uh, soil quality, uh, existing vegetation, and things like that, we tell them uh, what can be planted on their land and what is also saleable in the market. The lab is the heart of precision agriculture. We don't make any decision without getting information that comes from our laboratory. At the lab, we do all the soil tests. We, we do an ocular, we visit the farm, we see the potential. We use topographic uh, satellite, mapping, we, use, uh, we study the soil, the works. We do a complete study of the feasibility of the farmland and we provide solutions from farming to market. Ang ginagawa namin dito is proximate analysis for feeds. So, yun yung basically nutrition ng feeds or ano yung nakukuhang value, nutritional value ng mga animals from the feed products that we produce. And then, so we have analysis for fats, for fiber, for protein, tapos moisture and ash. And then for soil sample, we do the pH, the moisture, organic matter, and um, cation exchange capacity. So basically, all the nutrients ng soil, ng water, and ng feeds, we can do it here in the laboratory. Surprisingly, 100% of our clients are young people. So they tell us we've had this land in our family for so many years, it's been left idle. Our parents or our titos and titas um, gave us the free hand to do something with it. Um, and now they're approaching us to find out exactly what they can do, exactly how much they can spend and how they will earn. So um, our client base is growing. Um, we need to start thinking about expanding our team soon as well. So if you want to learn more about precision agriculture and what we do and how we can help you, you can visit our website at lm10.ph.